I'm always surprised how often I come across websites that are not tracking their form submissions. I'm going to show you how you can do that inside Google Analytics with the help of Google Tag Manager. And you're not going to need the help of a web developer to do this. It's really not that hard. That's what she said. So let's go to the computer and get started. Before we dive into the video, if you find the information in this video useful, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified of upcoming videos. Okay, so here we are inside Tag Manager. And in order to do this, first thing we need to do, we're gonna set up a trigger. And Google Tag Manager makes this really easy because they already have a preset. We're gonna call this our form trigger, meaning that this is gonna fire every time a form submitted. And they have a preset form submission trigger for you. We're gonna leave this go the way it is right now. We're gonna come back and edit this later, but we're just gonna leave it like this. Hit save. And the other thing that you need to do if you've never done this before, is go into the variables and configure. And you wanna scroll down to where you see these form variables and you wanna check all these off. You only need to do this once inside a Tag Manager account, but if you've never done it before, uh, you need to make sure that you do this. Now from here, we're gonna to go to our website and I'm just gonna use my website for this. I took off the tracking uh, so I could run through this example. And I have this request a quote form that I wanna track. What we wanna do is inside Tag Manager, we're gonna hit the preview and it's gonna to connect to, since I have that page open, it's gonna to connect to this page. You just hit the start button and here it is. And what we're going to do is we are going to fill out the form. And what we want to do, if I move this form out of the way a second, um, inside the preview mode here, it's connected and it's showing you what tags have fired so far. And we have our form submit trigger is sitting here. And once we do this, so we're just going to just put in some dummy info. We hit the submit form. And if we go back, the form submit uh, trigger that we set up has, has now fired. And if we look inside the variables, this is what we'll see. Now, what we're looking for here is I want to track this specific form. Okay, I have other forms on the site, but this one I want to set up tracking for this specific form. So we want to find something that allows us to identify this specific form. Sometimes it's a class you can use. Um, what I like to do though, most forms have a unique ID and it depends, it may depend what if you're like, if you're using WordPress like I am, what plugin you're using, you may have different, uh, it may have different ways of doing this, but most of the plugins will have some sort of form ID for any forms you create. And this one happens to be, I'm using Fluent Forms, this is Fluent Form 5. So we're gonna copy that. We can go ahead and exit out of this and we can now exit out of the preview mode. And if we go back into our tag manager, we can now go back to the trigger. And right now it's set up to fire on all forms, but like I said, we, we want to track a specific form. So we're going to change this to some forms and we're going to select form ID. And you can use contains or equals, not really going to matter, um, but we're going to match it up with the, the form ID that we had on there. And I'm going to change this to form trigger request. So it's a specific form now, and we hit the save button. Okay, so we're part way there. Now that we have the proper trigger set up, we need to set up our tag. Now if we go under tags, we're going to create a new tag and this is going to be what we're going to set up is we're going to create this as an event. So we're going to use Google Analytics, Universal Analytics. And instead of page view, like you, like you would use if you were just setting up Google Analytics tracking, we're going to do event. And actually, we should probably name this. Uh, we're going to call this um, 
request a quote form submission. And uh, you at least want to give it a category. You can fill in all of these. Um, so this is going to be form submit and the action I'm going to put uh, quote request. Um, you don't have to fill in all of them. You at least need to fill, need to fill in the category. Um, I like to do a second one because then all my forms will be form submit. And I have quote request, I'll have contact form, any other forms that I might have on there. And the other thing we need to do is we need to select our Google Analytics settings. And then we select our trigger, which here we have our quote form trigger. And save that. And now if we go into preview mode, And if we go back here, now we have this new request a quote form submission trigger tag, I'm sorry, that hasn't fired yet. But if we go ahead and fill out the form, and we go take a look here, now you'll see this tag has fired. And I see it, it fired with the form ID of fluent form underscore five. So we can go ahead and we'll exit out of the preview mode. And we're going to go ahead and publish this. And normally you'd want to name your container when you're publishing a new one, but I'm just skipping through this. Okay, so we have our new request to quote form submission tag. Now, if we go into Google Analytics, we want to look at the real time events. We're going to reset this. And we'll show you what happens here. We submit the form. If we go under events, there we see the form submit event was, was triggered. Now, how do we turn that into a conversion, something that we can track for conversions? Well, to do that, we're gonna go under admin and you wanna go to your goals. And I had this set up before, but I turned it off for this video. So we're just gonna reset it up. Uh, so the goal, you wanna use, goal setup, you wanna select custom, hit continue. Goal description, this is gonna be uh, request a quote. And we're gonna set this as an event. Hit continue again. And now you're gonna use the same category and action that you put in Tag Manager. So. The category was form submit, our action, I'll just type it in, was quote request. And use this event value as a goal for conversion, yes. And go ahead and save it. Okay. And now if we go back to real time, you see it says request a quote, it has that conversion sitting there. If we go back in and do this again, and we'll just keep doing test, test. Testies, testies, one, two, three. And submit the form again. Now we see that form submit happened again. And if we go look at conversions, now we see a conversion has happened. And if you go under your uh, any of your other dashboards, the traffic and uh, anywhere that shows your goal conversions, you'll see this now. Every time somebody fills out that form, it's going to track as a, a goal for you. So that's all there is to setting up 
uh, tracking in Google Analytics of a form submission using Google Tag Manager. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.